Well, here we are back at the uh, lunch table again, and we've got our cylinder head laying here. And I want to show you some of the bits and pieces that we're going to be installing and some of the tricks that we've used on this head. We've uh, ported the exhaust ports uh, to match up to the gasket, and that looks pretty good. And it should work very well. And we've opened up the intake side over here for the Cabeza de Vaca intake manifold, which we have to do, but that's what makes the thing work really, really well. And we've had to cut the spring pockets a little deeper, about 90 thousandths deeper, so that our new beehive springs that we're using are going to work just right. And what else have we done to this? Of course, we've got these 6 millimeter stem valves in there. What's kind of trick on this one here is we've actually closed up the spark plug holes, and I angle drilled the holes for 10 millimeter plugs which look like this and the idea behind this is to get the plug so that it's angled over towards the exhaust valve a little bit you may ask well why do that why not put it towards the intake it isn't cooler over there it is cooler over there but the heat of course is over here on the exhaust and as the piston comes up in the compression stroke it's going to push everything into the combustion chamber and that air fuel mixture that gets squeezed over by the exhaust valve is going to heat up and become more homogeneous and it's going to cause the fuel to vaporize a little more efficiently so we want to start our flame kernel towards the exhaust valve and not towards the intake and that will certainly help our power and as you can see we've installed some larger valve seats on this and I think we're going to like an inch and a quarter uh, valve head diameter on this so that should help as well Anyway, if you have questions about Fiat Raybarth engine modifications, give me a call here at Coast Mace R&D. We'll see you soon.